Let's take a look at a couple of public blockchains, those of Bitcoin and Ethereum. And let's examine the genesis block or the first block of each one of them. Then we'll take a look at a couple of large transactions, including the most famous transaction in cryptocurrency history, the purchase of a pizza for 10,000 Bitcoins. So first, we'll go to this blockchain explorer and see that there is a height column which indicates the number of blocks in this particular blockchain. It's, it's nearing a half a million. These blocks are created approximately every 10 minutes. And there's a transaction column that shows how many transactions are included in each block, as well as the total sent or the amount of Bitcoin that was transferred in each of those blocks. Finally, you can notice that there's the relayed by column, which is essentially the miner or mining pool that created that block. So from here, let's take a look at another blockchain explorer. And you can see here the genesis block of the Bitcoin blockchain. Notice that the timestamp is January 3rd, 2009. So that's the, the genesis block of the Bitcoin blockchain. Now, moving on to the Ethereum blockchain, we'll look at another blockchain explorer. And this one shows you that there's approximately 5 million blocks in the Ethereum blockchain. Notice that they are cre each block is created much more quickly than in the Bitcoin blockchain. From here, we'll examine the genesis block of the Ethereum blockchain. And notice that it was mined about two years ago. And the mining reward for this was approximately 5 Ether. So from here, we'll take a look at the very interesting transaction, that of the, the, the pizza transaction. On Bitcoin Forum, there was somebody on May 18th of 2010 who was requesting that they would pay 10,000 Bitcoins for a pizza. They provided their address and someone in fact sent them a pizza. In fact, it was from Europe. And you can see here that that was this transaction here of 10,000 Bitcoins. And lastly, a very large and interesting transaction of 658 Bitcoins done recently. Notice that the, the value of that is close to $3 million. So you can examine these transactions on both the Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchains and many other blockchains. In chapter two of this course, we'll touch upon the Hyperledger Explorer, which can be configured to examine blockchains you might develop with other of the Hyperledger frameworks.